Okay, oh my God, it's take a lot of time. Hi. Hi. Okay, today you will take a lot of time to get in, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so ooh. you just wash your hair. Is that right? Yes. Uh, do you want to dry it before we learn? Do you need to dry the hair? Dry, you know, dry, make it look like me. That means it's not wet. Dry. No. No, okay. So just make it. Yes, today. Okay, did you um okay, did you um see the answer of your test? Yes. Yes, evolution. Okay. And you can check again if you want. Uh you can watch the video and check again for that. Do you want if you have any questions about your test, you can 
I've test me on the Zello, okay? Today we continue with the listening part, and this is the practicing of listening. This is task one, and look at the picture. We're gonna listen and link the name, but before we listen, tell me something you can see in the picture. I can see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you that we maybe can need to, when you talk about some kind of picture, you can say about the first one is the background. The background of the picture, that means where are they? Where are the people? That's one. The four things you need to say, where are they? And that's one you need to talk about the people in the picture. Something special, for example, you can talk about the number of the person. Uh, you can say about, you can say about the job or you can say, you can talk about the action, something like that. So on. Okay, but first, yeah. Now talk, um, speak again. What can you see in the picture? I can see the children is in the class. Ah, uh, yeah, the children in the class. What else can you see? Can you describe a little bit more about this one for me? How many people, how many children, how many girls, how many boys? children mm -hmm. and There are, there are. There are two students. Two? Um, there are two? two? Really? Actually, we can say they are students. They are not children anymore. Children is small like you, but this one is bigger. These, these people are bigger than you, so we can say students. So how many students are there? There are um, seven students. Yes. Uh, so how many girls and how many boys? Two boys and five girls. Okay, two boys and five girls. You remember, we have seven. <laughs> you can calculate in your mind we have seven children and we have two boys so seven minus two equal five <laughs> so five girls and two boys okay we're gonna listen to it sorry part one look at part one look at the picture listen and look there is one example Hello, is Mary here? Yes, she's listening to a CD. Is she wearing a red skirt? Yes, that's Mary. She loves music. Can you see the line? Yes, this is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Where's Tom? He's drawing a picture on the board. There are two boys drawing. Which one is Tom? He's drawing a car. Oh, yes. I can see him now. Two. Where's Jane? She's playing with a toy. Is she playing with a toy plane? No. She's playing with a bus. Oh, yes. I can see her. Three. I'm looking for Paul. Can you see him? What's he wearing today? Black trousers, I think. Oh, yes. He's standing at the board. I see. He's drawing a house. Four. Look at Anna. 
Where is she? She's standing by the door. Is she wearing a red T-shirt? Yes, she is. And she's got a toy plane. Five. Can you see Pat? Yes, I can. She's working. What's she doing? She's working at the computer. Oh, yes. She likes that. Okay. Now listen to part one again. You're going to listen and, okay, this time you're going to remember the details, the information about each person. Remember and check your answer. One. Where's Tom? He's drawing a picture on the board. There are two boys drawing. Which one is Tom? He's drawing a car. Oh, yes. I can see him now. Two. Where's Jane? She's playing with a toy. Is she playing with a toy plane? No. She's playing with a bus. Oh, yes. I can see her. Three. I'm looking for Paul. Can you see him? What's he wearing today? Black trousers, I think. Oh, yes. He's standing at the board. I see. He's drawing a house. Four. Look at Anna. Where is she? She's standing by the door. Is she wearing a red T-shirt? Yes, she is. And she's got a toy plane. Five. Five, the last one. Can you see Pat? Yes, I can. She's working. What's she doing? She's working at the computer. Oh, yes. She likes that. Okay, that is the end of part one. That's at the end of the part one. So now the first person who is Tom. Tom is. So what does the teacher talk about? You know, drawing a car, not a bus. So the speaker said that Tom is drawing the one who is drawing and he is drawing a car and okay this cry about paul for me paul oh yes paul a black trouser not a black trouser okay a pair of black trousers you do it's okay if you don't use a pair of you say uh, Paul is wearing black trousers. Okay, how about Pat? What is Pat doing? She's working. Uh, she's working with the computer. Yes, computer. Does she like it? Yeah. Yes, great. How about Jane? Jane is playing toys. Uh, playing with the toys. And what toy is it? The bus. Uh, a bus toy or the toy bus. It's okay. And the last girl is Anna. Where is Anna? Anna is standing next to the door. Ah, uh, yeah, next to the door. And what is she holding? She's holding the airplane toy. Ah, uh, a toy, airplane, an airplane toy, something like that. Okay, that's great. Yes, great. Now we move to, okay, good answer. The, the second one. Now you listened and you write, but before we write, so look at this one. This is a conversation. And actually, I think um, it's a kind of interview. So we have the name of the person is Mary Smith. Okay, so how old? What do we need here? A noun, an adjective or a number? 
Number. Yes, or number. Hair color. Uh, adjective or now or number. Now, yes, exactly. Now, now of colors. Next one, eye color. Oh. Mm, yes, so what do we need here now? Yes. How many brothers? Hmm? Uh -huh. No. How many? When people talk about how many, that means number. Right? How many? How many sister numbers too? Okay, now you're gonna listen to it twice. Part two, listen and look. There is one example. Okay, as I tell you, you can prepare a piece of paper and a pen. And when you listen the first time, you can write something on the paper, but when you listen to it carefully, the second time you can correct your answer. And after that, I will give you about 30 seconds to write on the screen, okay? Yes, whenever you are so fast, you can write directly on the screen. Okay, but later. Don't worry. Hello, Mary. Can I ask you some questions? All right. What's your family name? Do you mean Mary? No, your second name. Oh, that's Smith. Is that S-M-I-T-H? Yes. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. And how old are you, Mary? I'm nine. It was my birthday last week. Did you have a party? Yes, it was good. Two. Now, what about your hair? My hair? Yes. What colour is it? It's blonde. Blonde. Three. And what about your eyes? Do you need to know the colour of my eyes? Yes, please. They're blue. You've got very beautiful eyes, Mary. Thank you. Four. Now some questions about your family. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. Have you got any brothers? Yes, I've got three brothers. Two are older than me and one is younger. That's a big family. I like big families. Five. What about sisters? How many sisters have you got? Four. There are a lot of people in our house. Okay, you're going to listen to it one more time to check again your answer. Now listen to part two again. One. And how old are you, Mary? I'm nine. It was my birthday last week. Did you have a party? Yes, it was good. Two. Now, what about your hair? My hair? Yes, what colour is it? It's blonde. Three. And what about your eyes? Do you need to know the colour of my eyes? Yes, please. They're blue. You've got very beautiful eyes, Mary. Thank you. Four. Now some questions about your family. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. Have you got any brothers? Yes, I've got three brothers. 
Two are older than me and one is younger. That's a big family. I like big families. Five. What about sisters? How many sisters have you got? Four. There are a lot of people in our house. OK, now we're going to check the answer. That the is the girl, end of part two. The girl's name is Mary Smith. And this year she is nine years old. Her hair is blonde. OK, just look at the picture. We see the blonde hair. Do you like to have blonde hair? No. Why? I think it's beautiful. It's kind of beautiful. So what color of hair do you like? I like brown hair. Brown hair, okay. I, I, I thought that you like pink hair. No? <laughs> okay, and her eyes are blue. Wow. I like blue eyes. They are so beautiful. How about you? I like blue eyes too. Oh, yes. You like blue eyes too? Besides blue eye, I also like green eyes. Green eyes is great. Yeah. There are some people have green eyes. Number four. Oh, she has three brothers. How many older brother? Two. Two. Okay. How many younger brother? One. And we have four sister. Okay. So how Look at this one and tell me how many people are there in her family? Can you think? How many people are there in her family? Can you guess? Nine. Nine? No. Just ten to nine. The answer is 10. Yes. So three brothers, four sisters. So we have seven, right? Three plus four equal seven. Let me write that for you. Three plus four equals seven. And now seven plus with Mary Smith is one. So it's eight and plus with the parents the mom and the dad so we have two more so the last one is 10. okay so that is 10 person wow what a big family so you see that how many people in your family right now <laughs> oh yes three people and this girl she had 10 people is she happy? Yes. yes. She got a lot of people to play with. She can play with the sisters, can play with the brother. She can play with anyone she like. That's great. Okay. Now, we're going to listen. What did Paul do last week? Listen and draw a line from the day to the correct picture. So, what did Paul do last week? What 10 is it? Present 10 or past 10? Yes, part 10. So remember, listen to it. So we're going to listen. Part 3. Look at the pictures. What did Paul do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. One example. Hello, Paul. Did you have a good week? Yes, Grandma. I played a lot of sport. What did you do on Tuesday? On Tuesday, I played hockey at school. Great! Okay, so on Tuesday, what did Paul do? Uh, at Hmm. Exactly. So you see, this is hockey. 
and this is his school. Okay, now we can look at the picture. So the first picture, what is he doing? What was he doing? He, he was watching. Ah, uh, yeah, he was watching. TV. The second picture. Yes. He's playing basketball. Yeah, he was playing the basketball. Mm, picture C. The, the third picture. What was he doing? He was. You see, it is very dark here and we have a big screen. Where, where is it? Yes, we have a big screen. It's look like a TV, but it's big, really, really big. And there are so many people watching movies inside. Yes, so where is it? Hmm? Speak louder, I can't hear. Huh? What is it? Where is he? Where was he? In this one. So you see, this is a movie. You know movie? The same meaning with him. So this is a cinema. Yes. And this per, this play we call it cinema. Or we say the movie theater. Mm -hmm. Yes, movie theater. We have two way to read write the word theater. We can say this one theater with R E or E R is okay. Now the fourth picture. Where is where was he? The first picture. The fourth picture. Where was he? In his swimming pool. Yes. Maybe not his swimming pool, but he is swimming in the swimming pool. Okay. Number okay, picture number five. He is reading the book. Ah, he oh. was. Ah, he, he was. Mm -hmm. Reading a book. What is the book about? What is it about? I guess about sport. Okay, I think you are so ready to listen to it. No? Can you see the line from the word Tuesday? On Tuesday, Paul played hockey at school. Now you listen and draw lines. One. What did you do on Thursday? It rained that day. I watched basketball on Thursday. At school? No, I didn't go to school that day. I watched it on TV with Dad. It was an exciting game. Two. I sometimes go swimming on Friday, but not last week. It was my friend's birthday. Oh, what did you do? We went to the cinema to see a film about someone who lived on an island. Hmm. Three. And what did you do on Wednesday? I went to the pool. I was there all afternoon. Was it nice and sunny there? Yes, it was a very hot day. It was great there. Four.
four. And on Saturday, it was basketball again. At school? With all my friends, yes. Was it a good game? Yes, it was. We all enjoyed it. Five. What did you do on Sunday? I read a book that Dad gave me on my birthday. What was it about? All about different sports. I want to be a sports teacher one day, Grandma. Great idea! Now listen to part three again. One. What did you do on Thursday? It rained that day. I watched basketball on Thursday. At school? No, I didn't go to school that day. I watched it on TV with Dad. It was an exciting game. 2. I sometimes go swimming on Friday, but not last week. It was my friend's birthday. Oh, what did you do? We went to the cinema to see a film about someone who lived on an island. Hmm. Three. And what did you do on Wednesday? I went to the pool. I was there all afternoon. Was it nice and sunny there? Yes. It was a very hot day. It was great there. Four. And on Saturday, it was basketball again. At school? With all my friends, yes. Was it a good game? Yes, it was. We all enjoyed it. Five. What did you do on Sunday? I read a book that Dad gave me on my birthday. What was it about? All about different sports. I want to be a sports teacher one day, Grandma. Great idea! Okay, and that is the that end is the... of the recording. Did you have Sunday? Turn on the microphone, please. Can you hear the Sunday one? Okay. Sunday, I, I couldn't see it. So, actually, we have five days to talk about. But you only link with three days, so we have two more. You have to listen more. Okay, the first one. The days after Tuesday is Thursday. He just stay at home and watch the TV about sport. The second yeah. one is Friday. You see, we're going to listen to this one. TV with Dad. It was an exciting two. Two. I sometimes go swimming on Friday. But not last week. I sometimes go swimming on Friday, but not last week. It was my friend's birthday. It was my friend's birthday. Yes. Oh, what did you do? What? What do you do? Uh, what did you do? What did you do? We went to the cinema to see a film about someone who lived on an island. Okay, we we'll make it again. You do. We went to the cinema. We went to the cinema, cinema. to see a film about someone who lived and see a film about someone who lived on an island. Hmm. About someone who lives on an island. You know the island? Iceland. Oh, no, no. Not S. No S. Island. Not Iceland. S này là âm câm mà trong từ điện không có đọc đâu. Island. Sửa nhé. Nếu mà trước có đọc nhầm là Iceland. Thì phải sửa liền luôn. Con có thể search trên Google. 
Từ điển Oxford và cái từ điển coi như là gần như là chuẩn nhất rồi đấy. Được công bố thì nó sẽ không có chữ S. Island. Island thôi ha. Next day is Wednesday. He was swimming in the pool and it was a very hot day. Saturday he is playing basketball with all of his friends. And the last one is too easy. I will pray this for you. Was it a good different sports in that day? I watched basketball on Thursday. Two. No. No, I didn't go to school that day. One. Oh. What did? Five. What did you do on Sunday? I... What did you do on Sunday? I read a book that Dad gave me on my birthday. Dad, Dad, Day gave me on my I on, on my birthday. What was it about? All about different sports. Huh? The book is all about different sports. You are right, this one. And what he's listening, what is he dream to be? I want to be a sports teacher one day, Grandma. What does he want to be? Yeah. One more time. What did you do on Sunday? I read a book that Dad gave me on my birthday. What was it about? All about different sports. I want to be a sports teacher one day. I want to be. Oh, I want to be now, okay. I'll make it. Five. What did you do on Sunday? I read a book that Dad gave me on my birthday. Okay, so okay. What was it about? Was it about? All about different sports. Different. I want to be a sports teacher one day, Grandma. Great idea! So, he wants to be a sport teacher. Sport teacher, that the teacher of PE sport teacher in the future. That's good. Now you're going to listen and tick the box. I think this one is too easy for you, so I don't have to recognize it one more time. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. Where is Pat's dad going? Is that your father walking to the bus stop, Pat? Yes, it is, Sam. Where's he going? He's going to town for Mum. Is he going to the supermarket? No, I went there yesterday. And Mum's going to the library this afternoon. Oh, I know. He's going to the bank. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which one is Pat's mother? Is your mother here, Pat? Yes, she's in the garden with my aunts. Has your mother got straight hair? No, her hair is curly. Oh, is she the one in the red dress? No, she's wearing trousers today. Two. What does Pat want to buy? Where are you going to go now, Pat? I'm going shopping. What do you want to buy? It's my birthday on Sunday and I want something new to wear at my party. Do you want some new trousers? No, I like a skirt because my mum gave me a beautiful blue sweater. Okay, I don't think that we need to check this one again because it's quite easy for you. Mm -hmm. This one is easy, right? 
So which one is Pat mother? If she's had, okay, does she has curly hair? Yeah, she is. And what is she wearing? She's wearing a red trouser. Oh, not a face. She's wearing red. Red trouser. Okay. And number two, what does Pat want to buy? Want to buy skirts? Ah, uh, yellow skirt. Okay, but let's see if you see right or I'm right. Yes, she wants to have a yellow skirt. Mm, the last one, three, two, five. What was the weather like here yesterday? We went to the mountains yesterday, and it rained. What was the weather like here, Pat? It was a beautiful day. Was it sunny? It was sunny. It wasn't cloudy at all. Four. This time Where's Peter? One more time. A oh, one time. Where's your brother, Pat? Peter? I think he's playing outside. Is he in the garden? No, he isn't. He isn't on the balcony. I know. He went to the playground with his friends. Five. What will they take on the picnic? What do you want to eat on our picnic tomorrow, Pat? Something we can eat with our hands. What about sandwiches? No, we always take sandwiches. Can we take burgers? I don't like cold burgers. Shall we take sausages? Okay. Okay. It's just easy. So, what's the weather? What was the weather like here yesterday? Is it was? It was cloudy. Cloudy. That means no sun and no rain. But we have. Sunny, remember the weather yesterday, so I will play this one for you. Was it sunny? It was sunny. It was a beautiful day. Was it sunny? Beautiful day. Here, Pat. It was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day. It was. was it sunny? What is it was day? sunny. Yes. It wasn't cloudy at all. It wasn't cloudy at all. Four. four. Where's Peter? Good. So number four. Where is Peter? Peter is in the playground. Yes. Who? Who does he go with? Who? Who does he go go to the playground with? <laughs> A friend. Uh, sorry, his friend. And the last sorry, this one. What will we take on a picnic? This is picture B. You are right. And okay, that's also the end of the lesson. And so we're gonna prepare for the next lesson. We're gonna learn about reading and writing. Okay, do you have any questions? No. Now have a good night. Bye bye. Bye. See you later. Okay. See you later too.